All right, there it is. Well, if you're joining us, thanks for coming in, and uh, we're just going to finish this lure right here. That's basically the last video. I left it blank so you can actually, you know, choose to do something and uh, also to celebrate our 5,000 followers. So let's get started. Now, usually I don't show this, but I'm actually going to be doing the little base coat of, uh, looks like silver right here, pearlized silver. Too much light. Well, it should start showing once the um, All right, I'm going to lay down a little bit of gold because you always have to have some gold. So put a little bit of gold on those teeth. All right, guys, I'm thinking a little bit of green, maybe. Se va a poder hacer de ahí. Okay. Ya traté. Ya estoy haciendo el vivo, ya. Ahí dame para atrás, no puedo ver. Yeah. 
Hmm. Who? <laughs> hey, Leanna. I'm using uh, water-based airbrush paints. You can get them pretty cheap at a hobby store. I got these from Hobby Lobby. Now, I'm not sure if you guys ever wonder why it is that I choose certain paints, but certain colors actually are able to be seen a lot deeper in the water. Certain others, within about a foot and a half, start to go because the uh, light wave pattern doesn't penetrate the water that deep. So the best color to use for deep diving lures or anything that's going to go below one and a half feet is actually blue. Any sort of metallic blue will do. But now you know. Eh, estoy usando este pintura basada de agua mezclada con acrílico. All right, let's see. Let's go and throw some of this metallic on top. Look at that. Now we're getting a good fade going. Now, if you guys ever want to get some detail, find detail in those lines right there, put your work at an angle and just slightly feather over it. The little ridges and undulations will catch a couple of particles of paint. And it'll give you that little extra highlight you're looking for. All right, almost done. It's going to be a quick one. So last but not least, I'm going to put a little bit of transparent black in it. You always want to ease into the black. I always like doing the eyeball in a little bit of black tone. Draws a bit more attention to it. So, just put a couple of little stripes on there. Make it kind of give that barracuda type paint job. As far as the teeth. Give a little bit of gold and some yellows to kind of highlight them. I'm really just trying to brush some of this on because I like some of the colors that are already on there. So not too heavy, just heavy enough to where it catches a bit. Like 
Who? Pike Fisher says Sigler, man. I like it. Thumbs up. Thanks, Pike Fisher 1000. It's always nice to uh, see some of the people that like it. So shout out to Pike Fisher for uh, coming in. All right, now I know we lost a little bit of detail on the teeth, but we're going to gauge that with a little bit of what's known as dry brushing. So we got a base color down of the highlighted teeth. Okay, now, if you can't get yourself a secondary brush. Hold it up. Now you're gonna take a little bit of that black and really doll it down over here how you want it. Almost barely any on there. So let's go ahead and start. So this is really just to work into those nooks and crannies, not necessarily to actually paint it. It'll give you a nice little natural fade if you try to bring it up into the teeth. Looks like we got some little little paint on the side. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of accent in little areas where I feel they should be deeper. There we go. Let's add some over here. A little tidbits here and there, not too much. All right, I like that. Just go ahead and add those uh, blacks, black markings. Easiest paint job to do in my book, anyways. Just random. You can bring that into the face a little. Kind of breaks it up a little. See more like a natural pattern, I guess. See the other side now. Be 
Be nice and random with it. I'm going to highlight a little couple peaks over here. And now, this is just me, I always like to throw in a little bit of gold as well. Throw some spots right here where I think it should be highlighted. Right across that jaw. And brush should dry your brush off and you can dry brush it right into this so you get a little bit more iridescent detail. Might just teensy touch right there. Just because I want to. All right, well, this is pretty much it. I really uh, wanted to do this live to, again, celebrate that we hit our first 5,000 and, uh, you know, finish off this lure. I got some pre-made eyes over here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see them. Let's see where's the camera. There it is. So we're going to and drop this sucker right in there if we can do it right. Now this hole is exactly half inch, which is what the eyeball is, so that will pop right in there. Look at that. There it is. Now at this point, like always, you seal it, choose whatever sealer you want. I always use epoxy. And for those that came in, thanks for watching. Again, thanks for making this community strong, and I'll see you guys on the next video.